Hello everyone, and welcome back to Occult Perspective. This is going to be an even shorter video than yesterday. Um, I just wanted to make a really, really quick video um, because I probably won't have time to get one out in the next few days. Um, and this is something I've noticed in the esoteric and occult field. I, I watched a video today on the Knights Templar and there's so many channels which have really good material, um, but they just seem to like repeat a lot of the same information over and over and over again that a lot of the occult literature already, you know, contains. So it's just like a reiteration of a lot of the same information. So that's why I really appreciate spiritual channels that have new information, you know, and actual experiences with uh, different energies and spirits, etc., rather than just book knowledge. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, my I had a really quick story to uh, tell you about uh, Archangel Michael. So this happened probably, a, it's probably been almost two years ago now, maybe a little less maybe a, a shorter amount of time than that slightly but I I'm pretty sure I was doing invocations fairly often I'm not sure if I was banishing a lot around that time but you know working with the archangels in the general way that one would you know in the lesser ritual of the pentagram I don't think I was invoking Michael like in particular that day but I very well could have um, and it's funny because I just um, I just did an operation like two days ago where I focused more, you know, particularly, um, particularly on the energy of Michael. Um, this instance, I was, you know, living in a house with some other people and I won't mention, I won't go into names or anything, but there is this person that there's just something about them that really gets under my skin about this person it's there's just something that's always triggering and it's like the spirits will will tell you within your body sensations within your nervous system and things of that nature when something is amiss or when something is just not an energetic resonance with you or it's meant to not be in your life you know it's not that that thing's evil it's not that that thing's you know you need to to hate it or anything but I'm a pretty easygoing guy, so this is this is a person that I just I'm not really a big fan of. They kind of follow the more new age spirituality men mentality, but they're not really even they're not well versed enough in spirituality to even have a real conversation. They they would never be able to have a conversation with me. I think they were always just intimidated by my knowledge, I guess, which I don't try to come off that way. But I'm I'm pretty easygoing. But this person, anyway. They're really close to a lot of other people I know, especially the person that was closest to me for the longest time. And I just always kind of saw them as more of a bad influence. I just, I don't like their energy that much most of the time. It's just not a very mature type of energy. But to get to the point of the story, for some reason I kept seeing, I'm walking around the house and I kept seeing Archangel Michael, The in, kind of like the image of him, like, you know, it's, it's a mixture of like an angelic being and kind of an energetic, um, you know, visualization that you have, you know, normally you'll envision red and you'll see, I don't really see like, you know, angel faces the way that like the man with wings are depicted in like art, the art. And that's why I don't like a lot of angelic art because it's just not very accurate. Um, it's, it's more of just depicting the angels as these human beings with wings, which they're really not. Um, they can kind of manifest themselves in that way sometimes. But the energies of what these things represent are, are what you really need to come to understand. But anyway, I'm walking around the house and Archangel Michael's just like, I have this feeling that I'm like, I know that this person's here. And it's almost like Archangel Michael's warning me. And then as soon as I turn the corner, I like close my eyes and I have a flash of Archangel Michael's energy. And then the person, surely enough, who I was just talking about, who I thought that it was, was right there. Um, because this person often had um, pretty open access to our house. So they might just like pop up 
It's not that there would always be a knock at the door. It's just so, it was so open house at the time. And I wasn't really too fond of that. Um, because I really like to be aware of, you know, who's coming over. Even if you just tell me, hey, I'll be there in five minutes. But this isn't a person I was normally in contact with either. It's just a friend of a friend, so to speak. Um, but I thought that was a really interesting experience that Archangel Michael right away alerted me to the fact that there was a presence in the house and I knew who it was. And sure enough, I turn around the corner, Archangel Michael's energy is like staring me at the face. But then as soon as that visualization cleared, the person was standing there in front of me and there they were. So it was almost like this, this type of warning. Um, and it was just, it was a very interesting experience. Something to add really quickly to the, the Archangel Michael archetype as he does help a lot with sexual type energy because he's the archangel of fire. Um, and fire goes hand in hand with that drive, that will, that passion. So you could actually even use Archangel Michael's energy, you know, when, when you're in the sexual act, you can take the energy and kind of like a towel cross, you can loop the energy back down around you, down through your feet and kind of create this circuit type of energy. And then if you invoke Michael, you don't, uh, you know, obviously you're going to want to probably say that in your mind. You don't really want to, unless your partner is a practitioner too, and they completely understand what's going on. Um, but you can envision like four red triangles, like at each quarter around you. And then that Kundalini energy, um, that's moving up through you, you can circulate it back through your body so that you're recycling this energy. And he would basically just add more vitality to um, to the act. So, anyway, that's a really, really short story um, about Archangel Michael. And I have lots of other, well, not a lot of other interesting stories, but I do have a few um, about other angels as well and then other spirits too. And I would like to get to those stories someday and uh, hopefully share those with you. So, yeah, that was just a really quick uh, video. Um, but I hope that you uh, got some value from that, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I did not introduce myself either um, at the beginning of this video. Um, obviously, this channel is called Occult Perspectives. We talk about different esoteric subjects on here. And if you found value from this video, uh, please make sure to like, um, make sure to subscribe, and ring the notification bell for new videos. So hope to see everyone soon. Peace and blessings, and until next time.